Okay, what I'm about ready to tell you is honestly one of the most important things that has happened to me personally as a singer, um, my growth as a voice coach, and to all of my students in the last four years. I want you to listen very closely because this is profound. What I'm about ready to teach you, what I'm about ready to show you, will radically change your singing immediately and it will fix a whole bunch of problems right here, right now, guaranteed. All right, did for me, it's doing it for my students, and I'm really super excited to share it with you guys. Cry mode is, is the larynx position that we get into when we begin to cry, when we begin to weep with tears. That is to say, when you're emotionally sad, the larynx automatically, instinctively, goes into a unique position to prepare the voice for weeping, for crying, for wailing, right? And it does this because when we cry as babies or if there's an emergency, we need to be able to amplify and be heard and we need to be able to do it without hurting ourselves. So when we're emotionally sad, the body automatically puts the larynx into this high performance position called cry mode that amplifies, gets everybody's attention and uh, doesn't hurt us. Now, it just so happens that cry mode is really great for two things. Number one, it's fantastic for crying, okay? And number two, what you may not be aware of, but you will be now, is it is super awesome for singing. What I'm about to tell you right now is profound. Write it down. Great singing. All of it. Just about all of it. All great singing is not much more than command and control of the cry reflex. That is to say that when people are singing really amazing, the larynx is in a configuration that's not speech, but it is a configuration that is very similar or the same as if they were emotionally crying. Now, they may be singing a song that's not sad. It doesn't mean that they have to be sad in the song. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not talking about acting like you're crying. This is an acting class. It's not an acting lesson, how to act like we're crying. Um, what I'm saying is that you put the larynx arbitrarily into the same position as when we cry. You're not emotionally sad, but you put the larynx in that position and you sing through it. And when you do that, amazing things happen. It will transform your singing. Trust me. Try it. And it'll just blow you away. Thing, especially if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, you have to learn to build the motor skills to automatically get into cry mode quickly and immediately. It's super important. So you do it in every single thing that you do. Your warm-ups, your training scales, and when you're singing and when you're performing. Cry mode, cry mode, cry mode. Great singing is command and control of the cry mode reflex. You heard it first right here. Okay? Now, a little bit about the science here. Okay? Um, the reason that cry mode helps singers so much is three primary reasons. Number one, when we go into cry mode, it thins out our vocal folds. I'm going to use this rubber band as a metaphor for vocal folds. It elongates. It thins out our vocal folds, okay? And when our vocal folds thin out and elongate, what that does is that creates hyperadduction. Adduction means to add, to bring together. It means... It, it means that the vocal folds are, are, are coming together with a lot of strength. So cry mode gives you really great vocal fold closure and stability. You need that for singing, especially the hard stuff, especially if you want to sing through your vocal break and get into your head voice. You have to have good, strong vocal fold closure, right? Two, 
um, cry mode creates a consistent medial compression, medial compression. That's to say that the surface area, the, the energy, the compression is equally, equally distributed on the surface area of the vocal folds. It's not sort of too much too forward or too much on the edges at the top. It's every, every touch point, all the surface area is equally, equally compressed with the same amount of energy as opposed to sort of an inefficient squeeze at different areas of your vocal folds. That also creates great efficiency and helps keep your vocal folds together and gives us more of a chesty, rich color on the high notes. And the third thing that's really great about cry mode is it removes pharyngeal constriction. Now that's sort of fancy voice lesson talk for um, it removes the pushing, the choking, the squeezing, um, all the all the pushing and the, the challenges that we all have, including me from time to time, when we're bridging the passaggio and getting into the head voice, oftentimes we, po you know, we push and we squeeze and we choke. If you have cry mode on, on your larynx when you're singing, in sort of a, a magical way, suddenly the choking, the squeezing, the pushing sort of just melts away. It just goes away. All right, so as you move forward in your warm-ups, your nasal warm-ups, your, your lip trills, your scales, and your singing, you are going to make sure, make sure, in addition to your embouchure and your vowels, you're gonna make sure that you have great vocal cry mode as well. If you don't, if you don't add cry mode, if you don't thin out the vocal folds and get into that, that physical configuration, then what happens is the vocal folds are thick and bulky. And that's when you begin to feel the choking and the pushing and you begin to have uh, problems with your singing, all right? Again, I, I, I can't find the word, that I can't find the word that can express how important and excited I am about sharing this simple technique with you guys. Um, and it's only because it has so profoundly helped me and my students um, get over so many different problems and challenges in our singing, okay? You still have to be smart about your vowels and respiration and other things, but, but if you're not adding cry vocal mode, the physical mode, configuring your larynx into the proper position for singing, then you will always have problems. You have to continue to do that as well. All right, let's carry on. Um, on your warm-ups and on your workouts, anything that follows, it has to have cry in it as well.